Hi, it's Guy from DecadentDecaf.com, the UK's leading decaffeinated coffee brand. Today, we're going to ask the question, is regular coffee or decaffeinated coffee a diuretic? The answer is yes and no. Caffeinated regular coffee is a mild diuretic. Decaffeinated coffee is not a diuretic. But first of all, we should clarify what diuretic means. So what is a diuretic? It is defined as causing increased passing of urine and is, de and is derived from the old French word diuretique. A diuretic means that it's something that promotes the formation of urine by the kidney. Regular caffeinated coffee is seen as being a diuretic, but actually caffeine is not a strong diuretic. It's a fairly mild diuretic. Indeed, it takes more than just one cup of caffeinated coffee to have an effect on the body. In most cases, at least two cups of caffeinated coffee starts having a diuretic effect. Studies show that it takes as much as 360 milligrams of caffeine to act as a diuretic. To put that into perspective, a typical eight ounce cup of coffee has 95 to 200 milligrams of caffeine, depending on the brew. But what about decaffeinated coffee? Is decaf coffee a diuretic? No, decaf coffee is not a diuretic. It must be stressed that decaffeinated coffee has no diuretic effects and it is an excellent way to hydrate during the day. It is about equal to water in how much it makes a person urinate. Decaffeinated coffee is also an excellent source of antioxidants, like its cousin, regular coffee. But even about regular caffeinated coffee, the conventional view of coffee as a diuretic is changing, and in moderation, coffee can actually be counted as part of your hydration for the day. Indeed, the latest US dietary guidelines increase the limit of caffeine to 400 milligrams a day in adults, and it's now noted as an excellent source of potassium and magnesium, as well as one of the top sources of daily intake of antioxidants for both decaf and regular coffee. A recent study carried out by researchers from the School of Sport and Exercise Sciences at the University of Birmingham in the United Kingdom investigated this subject in, in depth. You can read how they conducted it in depth on our Decadent Decaf blog, but this video will fast forward to the results of the study. The researchers found no significant difference in total body water from before and after each trial, and there was also no significant difference in total body weight between the two trials. Nor was there any difference between the two trials in blood markers or urinary markers of hydration or 24-hour urine volume. Urine sodium levels were found to be higher during the coffee days, most likely because caffeine increases kidney excretion of sodium. However, they found no difference in other measures of hydration or urine output, and there were no significant differences in body mass. Finally, the study concluded that coffee, when consumed in moderation by caffeine, habituated males provide similar hydrating qualities to water. This was a small study. However, and more research needs to be done on the effects of caffeine on hydration and sodium levels of the body. But it does muddy the waters of the old traditional view that caffeine is a diuretic. Having said all of that, decaffeinated coffee should definitely be considered since it has no diuretic effects and is an excellent way to hydrate during the day as a great source of antioxidants. Here at Decadent Decaf, we recommend the Swiss water process of decaffeination, which uses water, no chemicals, to decaffeinate the coffee beans and is 99.9% .9 caffeine free. To find out more about Decadent Decaf, please visit www.decadentdecaf.com or check out our YouTube channel for more videos on decaf, caffeine and coffee topics.